Hey guys, welcome to another Luthier's Quick Tips. What I'm going to talk about in this episode is kind of a continuation on the topic of using CNC technology to make guitars. In previous videos, I've talked about the design of this machine as well as the cost of building a machine like this. And really what I'm trying to do is help you make a decision as to whether or not you should use CNC technology or whether you should stick with the tried and true method of using chisels and spoke shaves, hand planes and that sort of thing. And really what it comes down to, I think for a lot of folks is the moral implications of abandoning the old school technologies and embracing the new technologies. When I started building guitars 20 years ago, I had no choice but to rely on the old school hand building techniques. I was using chisels, planes, um, <laughs> circular saw, a jigsaw, and you know, I learned a lot in that time. And as, as the years passed, I started acquiring tools like my bandsaw, my drill press, belt sander, uh, a planer. And then I started building some tools like my drum sander, um, my buffing machine. And all of those tools helped to improve uh, the quality of the guitars that I was building. And it allowed me to explore different opportunities as far as the design of my guitars. But what really elevated my building to a higher level is when I decided to go CNC. Now in the beginning, I was using the uh, X-Carve from Inventables. And at the time that I got the X-Carve, CNC was something that I really didn't consider an option because of the cost and the complexity. But then the folks at Inventable said, you know, hey, listen, if you do a review of our CNC machine, unbiased, we'll send you one and you can keep it. So I thought, well, here's my opportunity to make the plunge into CNC. So I agreed to it. I got the machine. And for the next, uh, I think it was about three and a half years, I used that X-Carve to build all my guitars. And as I was using that, I suddenly began to realize, I'm not sure I ever wanna go back to the old school techniques that I was using to build guitars. I became so reliant on CNC. And I became so intrigued by how these machines are designed and how they work that that's why I decided to design and build the machine you see here. And I've never looked back. Now, when I first started using CNC technology to build my guitars, and I began mentioning it in my videos, I have to say I was not surprised by the reactions that people had. And what I noticed was, and I was expecting this, there were quite a few people who felt that using CNC was cheating or that the CNC technology was somehow destroying the old ideas of building things by hand. And yeah, it was. It, it was totally changing the way we make stuff. But there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, after all, the minute they started applying electrical power to a saw, that was basically the same, same idea. They're just trying to make it work faster, more efficiently and more accurately. Well, CNC does the same thing. However, there were folks who said the use of CNC is going to result in guitars that have no soul. Well, if you want to get technical, a guitar doesn't have soul to begin with. The wood that was used to make it is dead. It was cut down. If the wood ever had a soul, that soul is long gone. And if you think that building a guitar by hand using these old tools that my grandfather gave me are somehow going to allow me to impart a part of my soul into that guitar, 
Well, I'm sorry, but that's just too hippie for me. Just too hippie for me. Just too hippie for me. Regardless of how you cut and carve a guitar body or neck, whether you're using a CNC machine or, you know, an old school router, the results are basically the same because all you're doing is removing wood. Now, there are those who will argue that guiding a, a handheld router somehow takes more skill than a CNC machine because, well, the router in a CNC machine is being controlled by uh, a computer, whereas it's your hands, eyes, and brain that are guiding the, the handheld router. Problem is, is I think most people who use uh, these old school machines to cut, carve, and route their guitars are using templates to guide the router. So you got to ask yourself, how were those templates made? Were they made by hand using like a bandsaw and a drill press and a router? Or were they cut out on a, on a CNC machine? And I know for a fact that a lot of people who use templates are purchasing templates that were made on a CNC machine. So does that mean that when you start to route the guitar body, less of your soul is going into the wood that you're cutting and carving? I don't know. As I said before, this whole idea that a luthier can somehow transmit a portion of their soul into the guitar they're building just because they're using hand tools and old school hand building techniques is just a bunch of new age hogwash. A new age hogwash. A new age hogwash. So in the end, if you're worried about the moral implications of using a CNC machine to make guitars, that's probably a red flag that you're not quite ready to make that leap. However, you eventually will be. If the idea of building a guitar using hand tools and old school hand building techniques seems romantic to you and attractive, go for it. Knock yourself out because that's exactly what's going to happen. I can tell you from my own experience, after building several hundred guitars using those old techniques and tools, I began to wonder how long I was going to be able to keep it up. I was starting to have a lot of pain in my back and neck and shoulders, elbows, wrists, and it was becoming apparent to me I was going to either have to leave the whole world of guitar building behind and find something else to do, or I was going to have to find a different way of building guitars. And that's when Inventables called me. And that's when I got the X-Carve, which changed the way I build guitars. But in a way, what I've done is I've changed or I've traded my skills at using these old tools for using this tool and the software that's required for CNC work because the skills you need on this tool are just as complicated and difficult to master as the skills you need to use this tool. So anyway, I hope that this video has encouraged you to give a machine like this some consideration. And if you'd like to build a machine like this, head over to eGuitarPlans.com and purchase the assembly manual for this machine. And even if you don't build the machine itself, your purchase helps to support this channel and everything I do with the videos that I post here. So just consider that. And you know, maybe if you decide you don't want to build a CNC machine, you can also buy plans to build your own guitars from eGuitarPlans.com. And you can use those plans uh, either to make templates so that you can carve them with a router, or you can use those plans to create your 3D uh, models to use on a CNC machine like this. So at any rate, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. Click subscribe. Do all that stuff. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them or somebody in the community might chime in. And until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.